Another little update, I'm working on the toy hauler. So, if you notice, I have gravel. And it's not perfectly level. That's where the Winnebago front tire always sat. So if you notice, it goes down a little bit right here. And I didn't think about that when I put down the tail, the ramp, the other day when I was working in and out of it. And I was rolling those up and doing different things. So anyway, so I had to set it down and walking up and down. You can't see anymore, but there was a, it scratched a little bit. This, I'm not going to touch it. I just put a little paint, little, what do you call it? Rust-Oleum. A little Rust-Oleum on that to fix it. Some gloss black. So anyway, in case it ever happens again, what I did is I cut down some of this heavy-duty black plastic. And three inches by 40, whatever it is. And then I'm going to double side tape it to this. And that will stop that because the bumpers work, especially if it's on concrete. But if there's any rock or anything, it's going to scratch it. It really bothered me. Really bothered me. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to pull the double sided tapes, put that on there, and see how it looks. All right, done with that little item i don't know if you'll be able to see it it's black and let me zoom in yeah you can see it there see it's like a little extra bumper no more paint will get scratched it's very easy just put them on the table saw ripped them down to three inch by i think it was 42 inches yeah because it it took the black whoop, right the black paint off right there. So I touched it up and when it was up, after I touched it up, you couldn't see it. But it could happen again. This way, I mean that's hard plastic. It's not gonna show ever again. So I can clean up this mess. Now oh, I still have to do the inside. I'll do that next. So I'll post this and then I'll Go inside and do the inside uh, review or whatever you call it. A little show around. I'll do that now. <laughs> 